Hello, I'm Lenny Arban. I am Ram. I'm from the College of Business, uh, the Department of Business Administration. Uh, I am from the MIS group. Uh, and Ram is the only faculty member in the college who is part of the pilot teaching with Compass this year, this semester. Um, we are doing some other pilot work, but that's all in development. So Ram is the one um, who's actually using this this semester, and we're going to give a little bit about his experiences. So Ram, you want to tell me about your course? Uh, yeah, um, so uh, thanks for this opportunity for trying out uh, the new version of Compass Pilot. Uh, I have been teaching this course. Uh, it's an introduction to MIS course. Um, the course number is BA350. Uh, I have been, I created this course two years ago. Um, this is one of those core introductory MIS classes, which basically sets up the concepts of information systems to all undergraduate students. Um, this is one of the first courses that they take um, as uh, undergrads uh, getting into the MIS major. So I think uh, this is one of those uh, introductory courses where people with different backgrounds come together, learn about what are the fundamentals of information systems. And they're all, they're all college of business students though, right? A uh, majority are college of business students. Uh, we have a few econ students, a uh, couple, one or two econ students, and a couple of computer science students sometimes um, okay. enroll in this course. So, Ram, can you also talk about your prior experience teaching with Compass? Um, yeah, I, I've been using Compass for the last uh, four semesters, uh, so I'm fairly comfortable with the Compass uh, interface and the Compass environment. Um, okay. So, uh, in terms of learning cost, the new Compass pilot uh, it wasn't much of a learning cost. And, and I can vouch that in terms of my consulting with Ram, I think I got him going with this account that he was off to the races. So I don't think he got much much support uh, from me during this process. We've just been doing a little debriefing before filming this uh, video. So Ram, you want to talk about your impressions of using the current version? Yeah, the, um, uh, I really like the current interface. Mainly uh, one thing I thought uh, was really different and useful from uh, this version of Compass Pilot was the highly customizable user interface. Um, I thought the previous version took a good first step, but I think with the current version, given the so, so many varied resolutions, tablet PCs, uh, widescreen monitors, um, small screen laptops, all these different options available to students, I always think that one interface may be better for one, while another may be better for another, mm -hmm. for another computer. So I think in that sense, um, this highly customizable version gives a lot more options to the end user in terms of uh, getting used to the look and feel and customizing it that particular computer in which they use it. And it's easy enough to do that they actually take advantage. Definitely. I think given how accessible these interfaces are, go to the main compass page, yep. um, you get access to the layout, color buttons up front and there are quite a few options. It's not just a simple, in the old one, we used to have that RGB right. uh, index, and that is definitely not right. uh, user-friendly. And I've tried that, and God knows I've never been able to get the perfect color and setting for my side. I think the current interface gives a way more intuitive interface uh, in terms of uh, customizability. I, I agree with that. So, Ram, you want to talk about any of the tools in, in this version of Compass that you would like? I, yeah, that, that's a good thing. The best feature, um, I think I talked to you about it before, is the roster tool. Um, unfortunately, given the small class that I have this semester, I haven't needed that to get comfortable with the student profiles. But that feature was very impressive to me the first time I saw it. Um, it's I can imagine a, even a slightly large class, 55 student to 70 student class. Um, God knows it's going to take two or three weeks to get comfortable with faces yes. and so on. I think the cost is very low in terms of setting it up so uh, and getting comfortable with students' faces and so on. Another place I think that roster tool is really useful is in class participation um, scores and class participation credits. I've used, I think it's going to be very useful for faculty in allotting class, say when they come back from the class discussion and they want to give class participation points and so on. Um, they know the faces right. and they have it right in place, right next to the roster tool and right. rating tool to allocate scores and all that. It's a very small thing, but a very important part of uh, most business school courses, I think. 
Very good. Graham, any last comments about uh, your experience in the pilot? Um, I think so far it's been it's an, a, a um, very powerful tool. I mean, I just wish I had enough time to learn a, a learn and use all the impressive features there are. I think it's going to take some time for uh, for every faculty to use all the useful features. I think one or two at a time, uh, like the master tool, uh, who's online is a very pretty uh, user friendly thing. The course management uh, feature is pretty straightforward and uh, I think it helps uh, organize the course and goals and the course material a little bit um, fairly easily. I think there are plenty of other such minor things. I think the learning cost in, uh, is not high. Uh, that's the best part of I think, the pilot. Um, it's very easy to get used to new features. Yeah, I think I think I agree with you that that is it's easy once you're into the environment using the new tools, it's pretty easy. So thanks again, Graham and. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Uh, it's definitely a very impressive uh, pilot tool. Okay, take care. Bye.